Today we're going to be talking about the Wildcom Cintiq 16. Many months later. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Bike with another video. Today we're going to be doing a one year review on the Cintiq 16. Now I'm on Amazon right now. I'm looking at the price. It is the same price that I paid for it over a year ago. It is $649.50. No, 95 cents. Six hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Now, this typically happens with Wacom products because they hold their value. They sell good quality products. So I'm, I'm not surprised that it's, it's the same price or the price hasn't dropped down yet. Now, let's take a look at the screen. Screen is a 15.6 inch screen, 1920 by 1080. Now, let's look at my screen. And as you can see, there is no visible scratches on this screen. I take care of my stuff. Real talk though, the quality of it um, is, it's, it's probably the best quality tablet that you can buy um, at, at, this, at, at this level. If you look at the screen, the screen, it has no type of um, physical, I mean, it has no type of um, uh, dead pixels in it. And I often use this as a second screen, you know, as, as much as I'm drawing on this thing, I'm using it as a second screen no dead pixels no ghosting effect on it and the brightness i mean it's it's still as bright as the day i bought it so anyway let's go on to the three-in-one connection cable that comes with it right and if you listen to my other review i think i did a six month review or whenever i first got it i talked about the cables that came with it and just the quality of the cables i don't know a lot of y'all was like why is he you know why is he talking about the cables like i want to see the screen i want to see some drawing demos uh, blase blase the reason why i I highlighted the cables is because a lot of times you buy electronics or whatever and you get these flimsy cables that come with it and they tear up in six months you you putting um, electric tape over it trying to salvage it um, your connection it, it, it stops working you know so the cables are important they are I know it's not as sexy as the screen or the pen or whatever but the cable matters and this cable like i say is a three in one this is perfect for traveling when you travel like i do all you have to do is keep up with one cord you wrap it up and you know you don't have to worry about um the durability of it is it gonna break is it not gonna break or whatever because it's good quality and in my opinion it's built to last i have not had any problems with connection issues as far as the cables go I've, I've, I've had none there is no sign of any wear or tear on the cables right so th th that's good for connection issues now let's go on to the pro pin it comes with a pro pin 2 this pro pin 2 has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity this is a good quality pin I haven't had any problems with this pen so far. It's working up to up to the standard. And as you can see, it's in good quality. It's in good quality shape. Now the overall tablet, it weighs about four pounds. Now this tablet, it is small enough to travel with, but it is big enough to be your main drawing tablet. It's right in that sweet spot. Now I've, right now I'm using this as a travel tablet, but I have used this as my main tablet. It's a nice size. There is no type of like compromise. Now I have a 22, I have the Cintiq 22 at the house. I do line work and, and stuff like that. I can do line work on the, on the 15. And I don't wanna say I don't see a difference, but there's not that big of a compromise. It's just not versus the other smaller tablets, your your 12 inch ta uh, tablets and, and even smaller. Um, it's, it's very hard to do line work on those type of tablets. This 15 inch tablet or 15 inch screen is right in that sweet spot. Now, all in all, if you're in the market for a tablet um, and you're looking for something that's going to last, something that you can just plug in almost this tablet was 
was plug and play way more than i can say for for the other tablet brands if you want a tablet that's just plug and play this is it you got some type of value out of this video today if you did hit that like button smash that subscribe button and as always i'll holler at you next time believe <laughs>